What is world segment tonight? As we told you in the Talking Points memo, some far left elements in America now running wild after the reelection of President Obama. So we sent Factor producer Jesse Waters to check out the situation at a Bill Maher show in New York City. You're here for the Bill Maher show? Yes, absolutely. How happy are you about Obama's re-election? I am thrilled. Nice. Unbelievably excited. Nothing's going wrong this time. I would have left the country if he wasn't. So you'd go to the Sudan if Romney was elected? Uh, I don't know, maybe Costa Rica. I guess you better push off, huh? You're opening for Mar. I'm Bill Mars opener, yes I am. So it's a tough act to follow. Oh, f he's, I go on before him, you get yeah, it, right? I do. Oh, okay, yes. Right. Don't you think I got any sense at all? You voted for Romney, and now you're here to see Bill Maher. That's right. Are you guys on drugs right now? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, Obama mama. <laughs> <laughs> Are you expecting? Oh, God, no. Why are you guys excited about a second term? We both are very happy about Obamacare. Obamacare. I'm really excited to see Obamacare roll out. Once they passed Obamacare, premiums went up. I gotta admit, you put it over on me that time. Are you concerned about this massive national debt? He spent the least amount of money than any um, president. Obama? Yes, he did. You sure about that? I'm positive about that. What kind of rubbish is that? What's the point of raising taxes on wealthy people? They can afford to pay a little bit more. Because if you raise taxes on just the wealthy, it's only about 68 billion in revenue. What do you really care, am I right? You don't right? hate the rich, do you? I love the rich. Right. What do my eyes tell you? If you raise taxes on the rich, it only pays for about a week of spending. Right, and you know what knocking out public television gets you? What? In terms of about an hour. Really? I know I'm talking to the enemy right now. Don't hate me. I don't. I don't I hate you. I thought liberals wanted to embrace the other side. I don't think that's true at all. No, it's no. not? <laughs> no. Okay. You and okay. I should go for drinks. Nah. I think you said about enough. What's Obama's plan for housing? Whatever it was, it's gotten house prices back up. It has? So, absolutely it really? has. Okay. Check the numbers. I will. I'm going to go like that. I'm making, pulling this out of thin air. I'm not, buddy. Just try to stay up in my way. Just try. I'm a registered Democrat, but I voted for Mitt because I okay. thought he would be a little bit more astute at creating jobs. Do you want me to pay for your contraception? Um, no, you don't have to. It's refreshing talking to a young lady like you. Now, do you have to be high to go to a Bill Maher show, yes or no? No. I might have had a few drinks. What a woman. Are you guys O'Reilly Factor fans? Yeah, yeah? big Bill fan, yeah. What, what's the best part of the show? Bill, yeah. don't let anybody push him around. What's the favorite part of the show? The end. <laughs> He's too much. Yes, he is. All right, here now is Waters. Now, number one, uh, housing prices have not gone up. No, they're okay, down right. since the peak in right. 2006. And number two, President Obama is the most, the president who spent the most. Yeah, four years in a row of trillion dollar right. deficits. So his supporters, the president's supporters, really don't know March. No, they're, they're zombies, and they hear these talking points about a balanced approach. I, I think President Obama could destroy the economy, but as long as there's Obamacare, gay marriage, and abortion on demand, they're going to support the guy no matter what. Now, they seem like nice people, though. You would, there wasn't. Uh, did, you, did you get any people who were giving you a hard time? I mean, no. You actually had people come up to me and, and whisper, wanted to whispered us. in my ear, "Hey, by the way." I'm a big fan. Okay. Like, they don't want anybody but, to but know. But I, li I like the fact that they weren't surly. No. You know, they were, it didn't seem like they, they didn't like you. Know, well, they had the just enemy. won the election, so I think they were feeling oh, pretty good so about themselves. So there was some goodwill. Yes. All right. If they had lost, maybe you would have. Right. Now, how extreme was the crowd going to that show? Well, inside the show, you'd have people applauding about jokes about the Palin children. That's how extreme it was. You'd have people making jokes about, you know, white power and Mormonism and 
really vicious, vile. Did you think it was vicious things. or just satirical? No, you know what? You have comedic license, right. but I think you cross the line. But the crowd ate get, it up. And the crowd right? ate it up. They're and you know, the crowd's really not that intelligent. At one point, <laughs> at one point, the guy was you know talking about how great FEMA was, I and think everyone's that, clapping about FEMA. Yeah. Meanwhile, everybody in New York has no power, no no food, no water. It's crazy. All right, Jesse Waters, everybody making friends wherever he goes. And when we come right back, is it legal? Tis the season. They're after the nativity scene again. You knew it was going to happen. Legal is next.